got nothing. I got nothing.
coffee and I am heading upstairs to take a bath. Let's turn the light on. Oh, there we go. <sighs> Hello. It is again around 8.15 and I haven't spoken. So yeah, just another day of crafting and just surviving this self-imposed lockdown stay at home. Remember when we had to stay at home? The stay at home orders. Oh, people would not go for that right now. Does not matter that our numbers are going up and up and up. They're just taking away the safety measures left and right. Oh, I'm not bitter about that, am I? I don't know what is going to go on with this whole lifting the school mask mandates because counties do have some say. I just, I don't understand the legalities of it and if parents are absolutely guaranteed the right to exemption for their kids because I think almost 50% in our county would go with no masks. So, yeah. I don't know why I'm already here. I think I've just been crafting to stay sane and the second I stop, it's just... Anyway, I'm changing so, so much on that craft kit, like so much, seriously. I really need to put this stuff down and start my bath, but it's so loud. I did show you briefly the printout sheet that they gave me. I don't think I've used anything yet. The reason why it's cut up is because I use theirs as templates often to cut my own stuff. But yeah, I really don't like their designs on these at all, but the bones are there. Even the bones are a little messed up. Like this time the molding, they sent me two different pieces, two different styles and sizes of molding for the bottom. So I had to hack up the small piece to make it match. And then the top molding I couldn't use because it was mangled. Like the ridges at one point were just like something chewed on it. So I sanded that down and flipped it over so it had the flat side and then I had to add my own wood on the top and bottom to kind of make a casing around it and then I ended up putting checkerboard tiles on top. So I think it looks great but like everything has been me hacking it together. <laughs> it's a good challenge I've been enjoying it. And I think it's going to look really cute but you need to help me out. I have two things I'm not sure of. For the sign, should I put it a little bit up above the checkerboard molding or right down against it? And should I have the pink striped canopy or no canopy? So let me know in the comments what you think I should do. I'm gonna wait on those things. I think when I go back to it next, I will be starting to build the interior stuff. Not that there's a ton, but there is tricky things, just like the drums were tricky in the other one. There's like a wire chair, and wire is the worst. It's just the worst. I hate working with the wire because it doesn't want to glue. I'm guessing I'll have to use the hot glue as much as I hate it, but that's going to work. So yeah, I need to get into my bath, so I'll see you later. All right, friends, you just saw me, but here I am again. It is just past nine, so Sebastian is in the tub. I just washed his hair and then let him use one of my bath bombs. They each got special big bath bombs in their stockings. A Pokemon mystery one and a money mystery one. Sebastian's done both of his, Jack's only done the money one. So in order to get free shipping, it I was gonna have to pay a lot in shipping or I could pay the same amount and not just order more stuff. So I got a pack of mini bath bombs for me. They're just rainbow colors and they all had to have the same scent. So it's just lavender. And I've been really nice and I'm letting him <laughs> use some of them. What baby, I'm trying to film. I'll check the video as a whole. He's playing with some dinos because he has some skeleton dinos that came with a craft kit with clay you can put on them to give them skin. And we just peeled off the clay so that we could do it again someday. And I suggested that, oh, this has a hole in it. 
I suggested that he take it in the bath with an old toothbrush. Oh my goodness. Dinos. Every time I see the dinos, I think about the beginning of the pandemic. Because we bought those the day before we locked down. They were our pandemic toys. He has a big hole, baby. Can you keep him out of the water? Oh, well, he will go with the the, the oh, I can't. The underwater tube. He has a big hole. He'll uh, get moldy. Can you find one? A triceratops? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Why am I filming right now? I'm just your gopher. Anyway, don't know what I was talking about. You know how it is. If only you could reach through the screen and say, Stephanie, you're talking about this. That's not a triceratops. That's something a little different. I'm gonna set you down on the library books, four of which are due. Oh gosh, can you guys hold still? All right, we are going to try to find, oh, we're just looking at the show. Find a tracer tops. That's the one that came with it, but it's got a big old crack. We don't put anything in the water that has cracks. It will mold inside. My hair, we can update you on my hair. I do not have any more rainbow in my hair. I got that all finished last night. There's about six or seven left, but I'm not calling it finished because the goal had been to just get it to this lavender and gray blonde mix. There's a hot wheel in here. And then just do a continual purpley lavender look, constantly changing for a month or two, just to give my hair some time to grow the roots out past where my braids start, and we're just about there. We're almost there. I'm just getting everybody that's kind of triceratopsy. I'm not getting the little tiny ones. So, again. Uh, I don't think we have an actual one. I'm gonna have to deal with these because this is taking far too long. Okay. I think I've found anything that's kind of like a triceratops. Yeah, so I guess anytime I want to, I can mix up a different batch of purpley lavender. I don't think I'm gonna use my really bright purple stuff yet. I'm gonna wait till my roots are a lot darker. So I do have some blonde that has dark brown roots, chocolate brown roots, and I can mix that in whenever I want to artificially make my roots darker. It looks pretty dark right now because I've got purple on my roots to darken them. This is the best I could find. I, I don't even know I'm, if they have holes. I'm gonna cry. They're not triceratopses, but they're in the same kind of family. This guy is. The others aren't. Okay, but you only have about five or ten minutes. Good night. <sighs> okay, I felt like I was gonna say other things, but I don't even know. Let me stand here so you can see my hair. Like over here, the purple's already gone because I washed my hair today. There's more purple here because when I do my bangs constantly with the purple conditioner, it gets on here. But I think that it's, I'm just gonna like go right into doing more and just continually every few days do like five, ten. This drawer is all currently lavender and blonde. So yeah, lots of choices. Okay, some purple. I am not opposed to mixing some other colors in a layer in the middle right now. This is like rainbows and my white. And then I have a ton of this hot 
blonde to hot pink because it was on carrots for a dollar. It will be years before I use all that. These are all the fun gradients. I don't know. I don't have any that have it's so loud. I'm so sorry. I don't know if I have any that are lavender at the top. I also have gingers that I'm looking forward to doing again at some point. I think it'll work well with darker roots. These are, that's a silver, silver with tinsel. And then I have all my like leftovers and hair bands. These are ones that have all been cooked and mixed, so yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. And I already want to place an order because she released a new color that is so pretty. It's a tinsel one with white iridescent opal tinsel, which is what I had hoped for because it has like rainbow tinsel now and it's, it was just too much. So when I did the tinsel, I was hand picking only a couple of the colors of tinsel. So every time I did a braid, I was sectioning out the tinsel so it didn't have certain colors. And then it's, it's like pastel colors. I think peaches at the root. Oh, that'd be so pretty. But I need to make myself wait. I just did that big purple order and I need to stick with it for a little longer. So I'm going to mix up some new purpley colors. Maybe I will do it tonight or tomorrow night so that it's ready to go during the week when I feel like I have a little bit less time. <sighs> this is such a boring vlog. I'm sorry. It's just snowing and leading and freezing rain out there. Lots of accidents, plows coming through. Tomorrow is gonna be bitter cold again, like we couldn't go out. But my husband has to shovel or pay somebody to shovel and knowing him, he's just going to shovel. And we have a lot of sidewalk. Being on a corner lot, we have to do everything along the front of our house and everything along the side of our house and everything going back along our backyard side fence so it's a lot i've done it before when he was out of town and it was miserable not fun because when there's ice on the bottom luckily we got snow sleet ice so i'm hoping for him it's just this layer you have to crack through that it's soft underneath or what he's hoping is that we just get so much rain tomorrow because this was a warm front that was coming in that all those just melt off the sidewalk What's it looking like out there? I'll give you a shot too. Oh yeah. The main street is plowed. The county plows have been coming through. Our neighborhood streets have not. And I'm looking at the sidewalk across the street because I can't see ours. It is invisible. You can't see it. <laughs> it just looks like snow. So yeah, it's still very, very cold. What's the temperature? It's 30 and it probably feels like 20, so what is that? I'm going to guess it's around 12 right now. Oh gosh, I don't know 30. I'm trying to memorize. It's weird, the Celsius, it makes sense, but also it's very condensed. So like several degrees pass in our Fahrenheit in like one of your celsius so in that aspect i don't like it as much because i feel like ours is much more accurate unless you're talking celsius like 8.45 <laughs> like we can get really in there and specific but i do like how yours it's like zero is freezing that makes sense right so i don't know I, i'm very interested in having celsius in my brain it makes more sense to me for some reasons but yeah i am babbling because i am freaking insane from being in this house but i'm safe i'm not sick knock on wood knock on wood <sighs> is there anything else i can say that would better your life and make you feel like you didn't just waste the last 11 minutes and 14 seconds of your life. I got nothing. I got nothing. All right, friends, I'm just going to end it here. Totoro, let's just end it here. 
I will see you tomorrow for another day of not going anywhere. We also are running out of food. We normally get our groceries on Monday or Tuesday and we can't. They have all the deliveries shut down until Wednesday. So, yeah. <laughs> well, that'll be fun. Anyway, bye. Stay safe, be kind, don't forget, wash your hands.